Uh, hi guys, if you're just joining us, there's quite a few uh, trades here today, and uh, one of them is basically Aussie Kiwi, based on method number two, right there, and the other one, uh, from we've spoken a bit earlier, is a dollar Swiss, which we've been talking about this for the past few days, so since pretty much Monday we've been monitoring this, All right? and we have, being the level of demand at the moment, and we entered yesterday part of method number one and currently it's still going through and uh, so basically we're gonna purchase more based on that um, and the other one's euro yen uh, we've been monitoring euro yen now for quite some time as well and uh, however from what we were talking pretty much since yesterday we, uh, I believe that's currently it's no time to basically short it so there's an M2 uh, formation right there and uh, based on what we can see uh, we have based on the shorting uh, the trigger was about 125.9835 and we have a stop pretty fine so 127.72 and our first target is about 124.80 and target number two is 123.71 so they're, they're gonna go through very fast actually in terms of that uh, there's a great opportunity we can have another 100 pips pretty much for T1 and approximately close to 200 pips pretty much for T2. Yes, it's still an uptrend, can't ignore that. And being Thursday, one more day tomorrow, so we're gonna figure that as well. So even if we choose to come back up, then it's okay, we have the stop through there. But in terms of probabilities, 50% and retest that is highly, highly probable. Um, and the last one, there's quite a few. Uh, but the last one, the one that I'm basically interested in at is the dollar against the CAD. Now the dollar against the CAD uh, is now currently an uptrend. We can see here a very clear uptrend right there from the high high, higher lows after the void primary shorter term basically primary uptrend right there. Clear breakout on the probability that it may continue to go through to the upside is highly probable and also we have a nice M2. M1 yesterday was great. I know some of uh, the students entered a good price about the 99.50. It's not too bad still. It's only a 20 pip difference. Now what I like about the CAD is uh, you know, it's not as volatile as the Euro Yen and uh, we're going to use this. Okay. Now the stop loss already will be 99.34 minus the Right. Say 9934, 9934 will be the stop minus the spread, approximately about two. We'll make that four pips. So 9930 will be our stop. Okay, um, and then 101. So there is a clear minimum two to one reward to risk ratio right here as so for a longer term. Okay, let's do this. Click on buy. Do advanced. Stop is at 99.30. 99.30. Limit will be above that 101, 10068, 10, 0.1010. 1.0100 Sweet. Okay. So you can see through here, I have my stop. Okay, and now I can actually readjust as well here and I will be in the new low. Part of that will be that will be the stop. That's my target point. Okay, all we're gonna do now is put in documents. In my trading checklist.
All right, just bear with me uh, for one second while this one gets uploaded. Okay. So that's from returning checklist from the Dollar Swiss. Now I'm gonna save that. Save as. Here's the CAD M2. Save. Okay, today is the seventh. Here's the can we open. Right, who am I? Yep, got a record how do I feel. I'm focused and confident. Right, okay, emotions. What are the emotions I'm currently feeling at the moment? Which is basically feeling calm and confident. Okay, during there's really nothing. So if you missed uh, earlier, we basically, uh, what we've done is we look at the micro fundamentals things. Um, currently, it's bullish and broke. Uh, did it break? I think not quite though. So it's currently touching the primary downtrend. Um, so very, very strong, but 80-20. So it's still pretty much downtrend, however it's touching it. Where does the CAD uh, that reported but based on tomorrow? We have the US, nothing Canada. Okay, double check based on today, whatever the rest, nothing tomorrow. Hmm, okay, so let's go through and have a look. Um, the reports here as well, let me have a quick look. So the Canadian one's finished. Oh no, sorry, yeah, there is. Um, 14 hours time. There is going to be some reports in about 14 hours time based in Canada and they're quite pretty high too. Alright. Yep, tomorrow. Here's the cat. I might have a slight correction. That was yesterday. Okay, there is a solidation at the moment.
Okay, trading strategy is swing trade is a no brainer. No, we're using M2 right here. Analyze top down, yes. What is the trend? Uptrend. Demand, yes, boots, long, daily, we are All right, so this is what I basically do pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, after I, I put in a trade, I just put it on my uh, trading journal. I save the picture. They do have a screenshot on it just to see where it's at. So I can basically go back later on uh, to have a look. Basically, to have a look if it's a losing trade and I need to have a look whether how can I make it improve better or what did I do wrong or on and basically to correct the mistake I know the market is dynamic we can always just be can achieve excellence but not perfection all right and let's insert the picture And there we go. Don't have any notes as yet. Click save. And we are done pretty much for the day. Alright, now we're gonna look at this tomorrow and see what the um result is going to be and I look forward to that and actually it might take a few more days in order for the trade to materialize to where we want it to. So far, so good. We did a good reward to risk ratio, pretty, pretty small. Uh, minimum, pretty much a uh, two to one right there. Okay, uh, if you have no any questions, thank you very much for listening. Take care until next time. Happy trading.